I was actually a big fan, but it's very. I'm a very recent convert to Agatha Christie. I read virtually all her books as a teenager and was rather irritated by them because I just wanted to know who'd done it without having to turn to the last page to find out. So I found them a bit of a chore, a sort of necessary chore. And then I did an eight-month tour last year of The Mousetrap and went round uh, her home, her holiday home in Torquay. And I just kind of got the Aggie, the Aggie bug. Mm. I mean, she's, and my goodness, she champions women and women mm. of a certain age. There aren't that many parts around for us. And she's, she's right up there. She was very fashionable in the 50s, 60s. She fell right out of fashion in the 70s, 80s, and then has kind of crept back in yeah. again, hasn't she? Mm. So yeah, I love her now. She's very clever. She's great, and she's only outsold by the Bible. No. That's true. Worldwide? Worldwide, only outsold by the Bible. Well, if that isn't... So she's if, doing something right. If that isn't saying, come and see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say period costume, but I, I was born in 1951. <laughs> so I feel, I feel rather um, rocked to be part, to be part of piece of history. Yeah, but you weren't born in a hat and the, the wig. Virtually. And that, so. <laughs> we were put into things like liberty bodices. Oh, yeah. Which were a sort of hangover from the corset. Right, they were of like course, a yeah. slightly boned, rather thick, uncomfortable yeah. vest. So we did. So yeah, yeah, I yeah I was put into similar yeah. outfits, and I remember, of course, my gran wearing the clothes that I'm wearing. Yeah. In the play. I love period jobs though, because it's proper like play acting. It's, it's what you kind of always, what I always kind of, kind of dreamed as a job to be. You know, turn up to work, dress up in a variety of strange garments and then go out and shout on a stage for a bit. That's kind of what I always wanted to do. That's and always was a bit, and we're doing it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's different from some of the TV jobs you get where they're, you know, bang up to date. So you're wearing something that you'd always, kind of always wear. Keep the cosy. Yeah, I've, I've often bought costumes <laughs> from TV jobs. Whereas in, in something like this where you turn up and, you know, and you, you hold yourself a certain way when you're in the shoes and the waistcoat and the, you know, the little glasses and stuff for my character. So yeah, I love getting all dressed up and sticking yourself right in that, in that period. It's good fun. Really good fun. I've never heard of any of them. <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. Actors is actors. <laughs> well, you, whatever your CV, you come to this job and you do this. Yes, of course, it's nice to have some high profile names around. And I've worked with Janet Dibley before. So it was lovely to get an email from her going, oh, we're on the road again, hurrah. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely company actually. Yeah, it's great. I'm um, not just saying that for no. marketing reasons, it no, no, really no, no, no. is, because it just takes one person to be... Oh yeah, and it can ruin the whole vibe. Um, but from, from my point of view, as um, someone who's kind of just starting, as, as it were, it's lovely to work with people who've been working for a good while, you know, I, I enjoy the anecdotes and the, the stories <laughs> as much as I do the work, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's lovely because you learn how to behave behind the scenes in rehearsal as much as you do on stage and pick up little bits and bobs from people. I'm a sponge anyway, I love people, I love people watching. So when you come to a cast like this where, as Lou said, everyone's great, um, but also they're just nice people. So you, you, you're bound to learn and that's that can only be a good thing for anyone. Yeah. So we're here until Saturday. Everything's available from the website, Harry, because they are selling fast. So get your hand on that phone. <laughs>